I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. Have you heard that Tucker Carlson is leaving Fox News? Have you, have you heard that? It's true. It's true. I don't know what's going on in the cable news network today, but it seems that bombs are dropping all over everywhere. And I'm trying to figure out, was it because of the, you know, Dominion vote mach voting machine settlement, the $787,000, $500,000 settlement, that $787,500,000 settlement that, that Fox reached last week with Dominion, but Tucker Carlson is gone. Tuck, I got an article, right? Let me read the article. I can read it. Let's see what it says. One of the highest rated U.S. Uh, TV hosts, Tucker Carlson, is leaving Fox News. The U.S. media giant has announced. In a statement, Fox said that the network and Mr. Carlson have agreed to part ways. That doesn't sound that was very amicable. They must have had some angst, angst going on between them. His last TV program was Friday, the 21st of April. The statement added, his primetime slot will now be hosted by a series of interim hosts until a permanent host replacement is found. The brief uh, two-paragraph statement gave no reason for the decision. The announcement comes just days after Fox News settled a defamation lawsuit from the voting machine, machine company Dominion over its coverage of the 2020 presidential uh, election. In the lawsuit, Dominion agreed, argued rather, that uh, its business was harmed by Fox spreading false claims uh, its machines were rigged against Donald Trump. The case promoted, prompted rather, disclosures of text messages that showed Mr. Carlson's private views con contrast with this on-air output. His show, which aired in the coveted 20-hour to 21st-hour Eastern Standard Time slots, was cited repeatedly in court documents by Dominion's attorneys and their claim some of his output was defamatory. Mr. Carlson's show was the second highest rated on U.S. cable network TV the week of between the 27th of March and the 2nd of April. So Tucker Carlson is gone. And I, I just watched him Friday night. Didn't I, didn't I watch him Friday night? I think I just watched him Friday night. Uh, and now he's gone. And they didn't say why. This is the this is a lot of suspicious stuff is going on. There are a couple of reasons. One is that Tribulation Trump should have had something to do with it because Tucker Carlson called Tribulation Trump a demon, a demonic force. Tucker Carlson said he hated Donald Trump. And just week before last, Tucker Carlson interviewed Donald Trump while the Dominion court battle was going on with Fox News. He had a one-hour interview that was prime time with, and they were standing there kissing one another, not kissing one another, but kissing up to one another in a vernacular of speech. And now he's gone. Just like that. Just like that. Hey, by the way, Fox, if you need a replacement for Tucker Carlson, I'm your boy. <laughs> oh, no. You're talking about getting some audience you know, with Manning being on there. Boy, you're going to have a, I, we have a lot of fun on Fox News. So somebody write and tell Fox they can get Manning. Manning is available. Yeah, that's right. But uh, I watched Tucker Carlson Friday night. In fact, we have a recent clip of Tucker Carlson. So it was it, was it, was it Trump that demanded they go? Trump could have said, listen, I heard what he said about me. And I demand that y'all let him go. But I think it was I think it was a part of the deal that Fox signed with Dominion that they're going to get rid of rather than them out making a public statement. Maria Bataramo, yeah, she may be going as well. Uh, who else could be? And, and Laura Ingram. I, I, they all are probably very nervous about their position with the Fox News. Fox probably reached a, an agreement. We're not going to make a public statement. We'll just make a public exit of all those persons that spoke in defamatory ways about Dominion and about the election, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this might not be the last shoe to drop. It may be just the first one. I mean, you know, Sean Hannity could be going. Who knows? And they're just going to kind of weed it out where they'll have the time to fill in those vacant spots with credible talent. But uh, this is big news. I'll tell you that, that right now. 
Tucker Carlson. He had, they said they had the highest, the second highest rated show, but I, I believe he had the highest rated show on cable television ongoing ad hominem. Uh, so that's, you know, but anyway, we had a, we got a clip, Mr. Engineer. We had, I just clipped this the other day of Tucker Carlson. And by the way, let me say this. Uh, I don't know whether or not it, this had anything to do with that. This would not have been the case. Uh, but Tucker Carlson is going to talk about trannies and he's going to talk about various LGBTQ plus and all that kind of stuff. I want to give a shout out to Facebook and YouTube and everybody else out there that likes to uh, curtail free speech in America that I'm not spreading disinformation and any opinions given in this particular uh, clip that I'm using from Fox News of Tucker Carlson, those opinions belong primarily there and not with me. So don't strike me or give me some sort of, but this may be the last live clip they were gonna get of Tucker Carlson. Right now he's history. Wonder where it's gonna go. We'll find that out in just a few moments. Go ahead, Miss Engineer, roll that clip. Recently, Scotland passed a law making everyone in the country God with power over biology. It's called the Gender Recognition Law, and it acknowledges that every person in Scotland has magical powers that can change their own sex at will. So a rapist called Isla Bryson naturally took advantage of that. After arrested, he said he wanted to be in a women's prison because now he's a woman, because he's magic. So Scotland is now ending its policy of letting men serve time in women's prisons. But in this country, we are more backward and insane even than Scotland. So we're doing this. Still, last year, a character called Demetrius Minor, who's convicted of murdering his foster father, went to a woman's prison in Jersey where he promptly impregnated two female inmates. He was there because, of course, he said, I'm a woman. Some brave protesters are calling for an end to this grotesque insanity. Activists with the group Get Men Out held a protest at the state capitol in Trenton on Friday. And of course, Antifa showed up to threaten them. Watch. Jennifer Thomas was one of the protesters getting hassled by Antifa. She joins us tonight. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming on. So you're taking the most unfashionable possible position. You're taking a position contrary to what the White House, the entire news media, and of course Antifa want you to say. Why are you doing this? Well, welcome. But thank you for having me on your show. I, of course. I am honored to be here. I respect everything that you're doing for women and, and children. Um, bringing this issue uh, forward, um, and this is uh, you know almost a minor protest with the Antifa. These they were maybe ten of them. Usually there's about fifty. Um, so they come every time we have a free speech event for women because they want to silence us on you know not just. Um, men being housed with women in prison, but on all the issues that um, cover gender. So like the uh, trans, um, the, the, the kids, the, the transgender surgeries that they're giving the kids, the bathroom issues. This group follows me around, you know, I do these speakers corners and they follow me around and try to make as much noise so nobody can hear us. So, but I wonder how this is all playing with normal non-political people who don't go to protests. I mean, so the U.S. government is encouraging the population to be androgynous and parents to castrate their children. That's so unnatural. I, do people in your neighborhood think that's a good idea? I'm just wondering. Well, I, I no, I think most people are sensible and they understand that human beings can't change sex. I yes. think they've scared people into speaking. I mean, this is the tactic they use with women is they scare them if we come out on the street. With men, they threaten their jobs, right? And they'll threaten women's jobs too. But, you know, it's mostly, you know, women speaking out about this. So they use intimidation tactics to scare us. And, you know, they're all different. You know, every speaker's corner free speech event is different. But what is the common denominator is Antifa, which I call zombie Antifa, because they're so drugged out. You know, half of them haven't even bathed, you know, and 
they come to, that's who they send to have us, you know, to stop us from speaking, yeah. stop women from speaking. And unfortunately, I mean, we're women and these men, and they're men. So, so it's, it's effective until we have, you know, like until we have good vetted locations where the police will protect us. So even a, a protest like this is the same work to do, you know, to have a hundred people show up versus 10 people show up because you right. can never risk going on the street because these, you know, lunatics show up. Yeah. Well, I think when the rest of us see video like the one we're playing right now, it's, it's pretty clear who the extremists are uh, and it's not you. Jennifer Thomas, I appreciate your bravery and you're coming on tonight. Thank you know, and Tucker just did this as if I, perhaps he didn't know that it was in the works that he was going to be fired. I, I just let that run out with the Antifa and the all that other stuff. I don't know about Antifa being not, don't take baths. I don't know whether that's going to fly or not. And they're all drugged up. I, I don't know what the, the, the guest was saying there on the Tucker Carlson event. But this is, I mean, what's going to happen in cable news now? Um yeah, I was concerned about the fact that Fox News, and I, I would want to watch Fox News because they share a lot of my values. They talk about Jesus on Fox News. They talk about God and, 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 and a, in a way that is consistent with the Bible. You, you can't get these people on CNN or MSNBC to go anywhere near that. But, uh, and then they got, but, but then they come with all of this, you know, a lot of the things that they're promoting about Trump that I just can't stomach. I just can't stomach it. And so I'm, I'm watching, and, and Tucker is saying that, that Trump is a demonic force. He's saying that he hates him, and yes, he grins in his face, and he, pro, and he comes on the air, and he promotes him like he's the king. Uh, and so that, that bothers me. It, it just, and I, I, but I watch Fox News as much as I possibly can. I mean, it's difficult to watch any of them, quite frankly. But this is going to cause a shakeup in, in the cable news network. In fact, the cable news network is going down anyway. Uh, more people get their, are getting their news from places like TikTok, especially younger people, the Gen Zers and the Millenniums and the, even Gen Xers. Are, they're going to TikTok. And then, of course, Fox News has got a, a One America News or OAN, the One America Network, or One America News. Uh, and then there's Newsmax. These are all smaller venues uh, that are competing for Fox's audience. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, Fox, Tucker can go to, to Newsmax and, 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 be, and become king at Newsmax. I think Bill O'Reilly went to some, someplace. And the, uh, uh, Chris Cuomo, who left CNN, went to News Nation. And they're now trying to make a, a, a run for the audiences. But people can get their news from a lot of different places. The YouTube, they can get their news. And venues like this, they can get news from. It's probably not at the standard, perhaps, which they would want. Now, I don't give a selective amount of news that they would want. But uh, th th there are all kinds of venues now where cable, when you know CNN first got started, it was the joint. I mean, everybody watched it. It took over the nightly news at 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock. You'd have a half an hour news. And after that, you, you had to read the newspapers. But this is different. And by the way, you know, the, talking about a shakeup in the cable news, I just came, I just came across a news flash that Don Lemon has been fired by CNN. I kind of saw this coming anyway. But I, I got an article here that says, Don Lemon, CNN star anchor to leave the network. Mr. Lemon, one of the network's most recognizable stars, had been under scrutiny since making remarks about women and aging in February that were widely perceived to be sexist. Yeah. CNN said on Monday that it was parting ways with Mr. Lemon a star anchor who was a fixture on the network's primetime lineup before and during a short but controversial tenure as a morning show co-host. CNN and Don have, have parted ways, the network said in a statement on Monday, Don will forever be part of the CNN family. Really? Really? And we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well. And we'll be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Well, then why'd you get rid of him then? I, I think that business about him saying that women uh, make a statement. Because Don Lemon is gay. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. I mean, Don Lemon's a part of privilege. If you're gay and black, 
That's a that's batting a thousand in American society. You gay, you are prime. You are the you are the most choice of all people. You're gay and black, and your talent. Anyway, uh, the network said Mr. Lemon's morning show, which he hosted with Poppy Harlow and Caitlin. Cotton. Those two women don't like him. I don't know why. Usually, gay men get along with, with white women. But why the that especially Kate, Caitlin Collins? She she really didn't like him. Uh, he said the show will continue. Seeing that this morning has been on the air for nearly six months, that, that, that morning show. And we are committed to its success. It ain't going nowhere. That thing is as dead as a doorknob. It's dead, dead, dead. It was dead when Don Lemon on Caitlin. I mean, Caitlin Collins and Poppy Harlow just don't cut it in terms of, you know, a CNN morning group. They don't, they don't, have, they don't have whatever it takes. They don't got it. And Don Lemon didn't have it either. Uh, anyway, Mr. Lemon, who's 57 years old, appeared on air Monday morning as normal today. He was on air today. <laughs> and he said, I was informed this morning by my agent that I've been terminated by CNN. Mr. Lemon said in a statement that he uh, posted on Twitter, I am stunned. After 17 years of CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. And so... They have it, my friends. That's what's going on uh, in these cable news networks. By the way, CNN, if you need a new host to replace Don, nah, I'm not gay. Yeah, no, I ain't gay and I ain't black. But, <laughs> you know, if you need a replacement for Don Lemon, here am I. And I'm going to, you know, you're going to go, I will set CNN on fire. That's right. So call me. I'll give you my number. It's 877-777-073-0734. Call me CNN if you need me. I'll be right there. And by the way, Fox News, if y'all need me, you can call me to replace Tucker. I'm here. I'm available. You know, I'll even stop doing a man report if you want because you don't want competition. But if you need me, Fox, <laughs> if you need me, CNN, call Manning. And I've got to, I've got to pizzazz. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wouldn't that be fun watching me on CNN? Wouldn't that? Wouldn't, uh, you know? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me take that back. I don't know if I could put up with all that news on. I don't know if I could. Wait, wait a minute. I think I spoke too soon about CNN. I could possibly go to Fox. No, I could go to Fox. I could deal with Fox. No, I can deal with that. I can jiggy with them. But I couldn't put up with all that stuff they do. By the way, you ever seen how they're kissing up down shop to now about MSNBC? What's going on with that? He might be gone soon, too, you know. Uh, but it appears that Joe Scarborough, you know him, has been kissing up to see. Cause I've seen, seen Al Sharpton, Al the Buzzard Sharpton, on one of these you know, group talk show events. When uh, and I forget the name of the various women that on MSNBC. I don't know their names. And they ignored him for like 20 minutes. Wouldn't call. He's sitting there with his stupid looking self. They wouldn't call. Cause they, they, everybody knows he's not a journalist. But I don't want to rescind my offer to CNN. I will not go to y'all. I, I can't because I ain't going to be able to deal with that. Uh, y'all, If y'all couldn't put up with Don Lemon, you definitely ain't going to be able to put up with me. But Fox, my number is 877-777-0734. I'm James David Manning. I'm the Lord servant.